Well, as part of Boys to Men, he's got a hit show on the strip, and the group is about to hit the road for the highly anticipated, I'm very excited, the package tour with the new kids on the block at 98 degrees. But Sean Stockman is proving he's more than just a singer, as the star is going from the stage to the big screen in a new movie. And he recently stopped by more to give us the scoop. We know him for that soulful voice and all those memorable songs. But soon you'll also know Sean Stockman for his acting chops. Why would you go all the way down to Vegas to try and beat the house when you can just stay right here and be the house? That's the Boys to Men star in Getting Back to Zero, a dark comedy about gambling, dice control, and a major debt. And Sean told me he's thrilled about making his acting debut. It's a cool flick, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in it. I, I think it, it's just one of those movies that if you happen to catch it and you happen to see it, you, you will be entertained. And while Sean says he's a poker man himself, his character's game is craps, something he helped master with some real-world research. I do have some friends that uh, <laughs> frequent in the game of, uh, of craps, <laughs> and not the legal one either. But, um, <laughs> They will but, uh, be nameless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly it's on the corner and, you know, <laughs> with some beer and, you know, some, some dollars on the, on the concrete. <laughs> is this in but, Philly or uh, yeah, is this in Vegas? In Philly. In Philly. Wow. And, and sometimes on the road. Like, you know, we, we get those games going sometimes. If the gambling theme isn't enough of a Vegas connection, one of Sean's co-stars is actually Mr. Las Vegas himself. A little birdie told me you guys are having a craps game here tonight. Sean also shows more than just his acting skills in the film, as one scene calls for him to show off his abs. That was not CGI abs. Let's, let's do, now when you read, now this is the embarrassing part when you blush. When you yeah. read your script, you're like, shirtless. Uh-oh, put down the burger, put yeah, down the car. Right, right. Yeah, it, it was one of those things where um, I made sure that I lost a few pounds and kind of had weights on the set. So, you know, if I happen to turn and flex, you know, you have to. You know. <laughs> But Sean's also in fighting shape for his hit show at the Mirage, which he told me has been a blessing in his career. What can I say? It's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, and, and we're humbled by it still. So all we do is what we know how to do. We go up on stage and, and we sing our behinds off and, and we entertain the crowd. And Boys to Men will entertain Vegas audiences one last time this weekend before hitting the road for their package tour with new kids and 98 degrees. Between the two groups, I've known each of them individually for at least 15 years. So wow. this is more or less just some buddies going on a road, a long road trip. That's all. Just a man road trip. You can imagine that. <laughs> with some kids. <laughs> with yeah, with some kids. <laughs> and a couple wives every once in a while. <laughs> Just for the peace. Right, right, right. It's right, not right. like what? sister wives <laughs> right, right. on tour. That's another show. Right, right, right. Let me clarify. And it's clear to see that whether it's singing or acting, Sean Stockman's career is certainly on a roll. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sean, to make you blush, but if there's a shirtless scene in a movie, it's my journalistic duty to uncover that kind of information. And we're proud of you for that. <laughs> I did go to journalism <laughs> school. Edward Armour is so proud right now. <laughs> so you guys, you can see Sean in Getting Back to Zero. It's on demand. You can just download on iTunes as well. And you can see him at the Mirage with Boys to Men this weekend. Then they'll be back in Vegas in August after they hit the road for the package tour, which is also coming to Vegas. I'll be there. I'm sure you will. I, like I told Sean, I have a PhD in boy bands. <laughs> <laughs> it's a master's program. Well, guys, fashion.